absolutely revolutionary. We don't have vaccines that are built on this a model. And while it's a new model for a vaccine, the science that's been put behind it was actually well underway before COVID-19 even existed. They have been years in the making. That's because scientists were studying SARS-1 and MERS, which are other coronaviruses, years ago. No one knew about them because they studied this obscure virus called, you know, coronavirus, and they continued working on it. Pfizer and Moderna are two closest vaccines to FDA approval. Tim Albertson is currently the principal investigator for the Pfizer vaccine trial for UC Davis monitoring around 230 people in that trial. So what exactly do the Pfizer and Moderna vaccine do once they're in your body? First of all, it's different than a flu shot. The vaccine doesn't contain the virus like a flu shot does, but instead it has a type of code that can help your body recognize and fight off the virus. Which is great because we can't have enough. Uh, of these vaccines. We need them now. Both of these vaccines require two rounds of shots, about three to four weeks apart. But what should we expect when we get the vaccine? I'm in, I'm a participant in the trial, uh, I'm in the Moderna trial. So, so I know from, from experience myself that that the symptoms can be bad. And it's completely natural. It's because our body is working overtime to make the immune response. He says some people should be prepared for side effects of COVID-19, like fevers and chills. But that's exactly what scientists expected. I just want people to be prepared and not freak out that, that like, oh, we, we rushed this. And this is, you know, this is not known. You touched on there might be side effects, but is there the chance of anything more serious developing from vaccines? Based on, on the science of this, we, we really don't anticipate um, many side effects like going forward, anything long term, really. Um, and I think what people have to think about, what do we know for certain? We know for certain that COVID kills. Like, we know that. 